But the Trump administration needs to make an official attribution. This assault happened on Donald Trump's watch when he wasn't watching. But rest assured that even if he does not take it seriously, I will. All right, so that was President-elect Joe Biden uh, voicing harsh actions for the unprecedented cyber attack linked to Russia. It comes as we're learning the Treasury Department is now the latest in a growing list of federal agencies that have been hit with so many agencies breached and the extent still very unclear. The incoming chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee is vowing to help to hold hearings uh, in the wake of the attack, help answer some of those questions. The incoming chairman, New York Democratic Congressman, Gregory Meeks joins me now. Congressman, it's great to have you back uh, on the program. You were vocal about this hack on Twitter. You wrote, Trump may have lowered our guard on Russian aggression, but our cyber vulnerabilities go beyond his lack of leadership. Moscow is going to do as Moscow does. Other adversaries will probe as well. We need to be better prepared to rebuff digital espionage. We can't afford to be behind the curve. Uh, from where you sit, what needs to be done to strengthen the U.S.'s cybersecurity? Well, I think that uh, President-elect Biden laid it out, at least a part of uh, what we will be doing on the Foreign Affairs Committee, and that is uh, we've got to set some standards worldwide so that when they're violated, there are serious consequences that we do in a collective manner. Uh, because, you know, <clears throat> we've got our own, of course, uh, national security interests in the United States. But if Russia is doing it here, they're doing it else place, uh, elsewhere. And so we've got to have a universal international standard. And I think that we want to have hearings uh, very soon as we get back uh, faced with and dealing with cybersecurity and this incursion that's made by Russia, but talking to our allies through hearings uh, as well as through diplomatic channels so that we can make sure that uh, we put an end to this once and for all and then there will be serious repercussions for anybody that violates it. And it won't be just done unilaterally, but it'll be done multilaterally by countries uh, around the world who we are working collectively with. Let me ask you about something the president-elect just talked about uh, in regards to this particular uh, cyber aggression or cyber attack, if you will. He said that his administration, or sorry, his incoming administration had not yet been briefed by the Department of Defense uh, about the severity of the attack or uh, really on the scope of it from the Department of Defense. Are you surprised? Are you alarmed? Are you disturbed by the fact that so far his incoming administration has not been briefed by the Department of Defense? You know, I wish I would say I could say that I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised at anything. You know, right now, the House uh, Foreign Affairs Committee is waiting to hear back from the State Department where we have requested to get briefings also. Uh, and so uh, that request is in. For whatever reason, the State Department is delaying or have not replied back to us as of yet. Uh, we're going to continue to pursue it. So I wish that uh, I could say I was surprised. Uh, and I wish that this would not be happening. But after four years of this current administration, I don't think anything should surprise us anymore because uh, clearly, especially when it deals with Russia, because we've seen where he has been uh, trying to protect and cover them uh, uh, at, at, at all costs each and every time. But so am I surprised? No, I'm not. In, 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 in essence, I would be surprised if it was the other way around because he's never been transparent mm. about anything, particularly as it comes to Russia. You mentioned Russia. I want to get your thoughts about where we are in terms of our relationship with that country, because, as you know, a lot of people describe and consider Russia as a bad actor. Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition leader, he published a recording of a phone call that he alleges shows a Russian security official confirming the plot to assassinate him. What are your biggest concerns about Russia? And between that poisoning and this hack, do you see uh, us on a collision course with Russia? Are they escalating? Well, you know, I see us uh, where we have to confront those that are utilizing non-democratic uh, tools, those who are uh, violating human rights, those who are uh, holding its citizens down in the fashions in a fascist way. Uh, we are on a, a point where we've got to call it out and we've got to make sure that we're loudly and clear about it and we work with our allies. Uh, and that's why it's important to have allies in a collective basis so that where we see these incursions occurring, that then we can surely make sure that we have results that will prevent those actions from taking place. So Russia would like to do things with other countries. But if we're in lockstep with our policies in that regards, because 
I would say to you, what they're trying to do here, they're also trying to do with many of the uh, European Union countries, uh, the EU countries. Uh, they are playing in their elections. Uh, they're trying to hold some of them hostage. They look what they're doing in, you know, and, and maybe uh, engaging with other countries who are adversaries of ours. So we've got to make sure that we align with our allies, put the pressure on Russia, and make sure that they know that they're not going to be able to get away and get around uh, what uh, we know as uh, what we set as uh, international norms. So do you have uh, a recommendation for the incoming administration what that might look like? I mean, the president used the word, uh, you know, cyber attack. Do you see it as an attack or is it an act of espionage? And if so, what is a, a proportionate response? Is it hacking their systems? Is it sanctions? Is it something more severe than that? Well, I, I tell you that uh, what is and what we do is not going to be publicized, you know, right up front. Uh, we will, and I'm sure that the administration will have conversations among themselves. Uh, I would hope that, and I would definitely give uh, whatever intelligence and help that we can from a House Foreign Affairs uh, Committee perspective, working with my colleagues in intelligence uh, and the armed services uh, and Homeland Security. I think that you'll see that, you know, my viewpoint is uh, the, the House Foreign Affairs Committee will work in conjunction with the others so that we can make sure that some diplomacy is also taking place and talking with our diplomatic core uh, so that, uh, you know, uh, we can make sure that we don't get into a war or anything of that nature. But we have the, uh, the, the remedies ready to go to someone that has in, made incursions into us uh, and we can do so in a collective manner. I think that's what's tremendously important. So uh, there's going to be further conversation. The vice president, I mean, the president-elect said that he's going to be talking to a number of his advisors and people that uh, he's going to have on his team. Uh, they will come up with something. Uh, clearly, I'm going to do similarly. We've got some great uh, individuals on our committee, many of whom uh, were in the State Department or in the Defense Department previously, now serving in our committee. I'm going to consult with them and then talk to the new uh, administration uh, individuals that may be in the State Department and some of our diplomats and then we'll make a collective decision on the best way to move forward. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.